3월 20일 쉬운 영어로 맥체인 성경통독 오늘 말씀은 출애굽기 31장 요한복음 10장 잠언 7장 갈라디아서 6장 말씀입니다. 
Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired man. He does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. They know me just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I give my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this sheep pen. I must bring them in too. They also will listen to my voice. Then there will be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I give up my life. But I will take it back again. No one takes it from me. I give it up myself. I have the authority to give it up. And I have the authority to take it back again. I received this command from my father. The Jews who heard these words could not agree with one another. Many of them said, He is controlled by a demon. He has gone crazy. Why should we listen to him? But others said, A person controlled by a demon does not say things like this. Can a demon open the eyes of someone who is blind? Then came the feast of Hanukkah at Jerusalem. It was winter. Jesus was in the temple courtyard walking in Solomon's porch. The Jews who were gathered there around Jesus spoke to him. They said, How long will you keep us waiting? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you. But you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name are a witness for me. But you do not believe, because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never die. No one will steal them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than anyone. No one can steal them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Again the Jews who had challenged him picked up stones to kill him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. Which good work are you throwing stones at me for? We are not throwing stones at you for any good work, they replied. We are stoning you for saying a very evil thing. You are only a man. But you claim to be God. Jesus answered them, Didn't God say in your law, I have said you are gods? Psalm chapter 82 verse 6 we know that scripture is always true. God spoke to some people and called them, gods. If that is true, what about the one the Father set apart as his very own? What about this one the Father sent into the world? Why do you charge me with saying a very evil thing? Is it because I said, I am God's son? Don't believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But what if I do them? Even if you don't believe me, believe these works. Then you will know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Again they tried to arrest him. But he escaped from them. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan River. He went to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. There he stayed. Many people came to him. They said, John never performed a sign. But everything he said about this man was true. And in that place many believed in Jesus. Proverbs chapter 7 My son, obey my words. Store up my commands inside you. Obey my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as you would guard your own eyes. Tie them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. Say to understanding, you are a member of my family. They will keep you from a woman who commits adultery. They will keep you from the smooth talk of a sinful wife. I stood at the window of my house. I looked down through it. Among those who were childish I saw a young man who had no sense. He went down the street near that sinful woman's corner. He walked toward her house. The sun had gone down, and the day was fading. The darkness of night was falling. A woman came out to meet him. She was dressed like a prostitute and had a clever plan. 
She was wild and pushy. She never stayed at home. Sometimes she's in the streets. Sometimes she's at other places. At every corner she waits. She took hold of the young man and kissed him. With a bold face she spoke to him. She said, today I offered what I promised I would. At home I have meat left over from my fellowship offering. So I came out to meet you. I looked for you and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored sheets from Egypt. I've perfumed my bed with spices. I used myrrh, aloes and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning. Let's enjoy ourselves by sleeping together. My husband isn't home. He's gone on a long journey. He took his bag full of money. He won't be home for several days. She led him astray with her clever words. She charmed him with her smooth talk. All at once he followed her. He was like an ox going to be killed. He was like a deer stepping into a trap until an arrow struck its liver. He was like a bird rushing into a trap. Little did he know it would cost him his life. My sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Don't let your hearts turn to her ways. Don't step onto her paths. She has brought down a lot of men. She has killed a huge crowd. Her house is a road to the grave. It leads down to the place of the dead. Galatians chapter 6 Brothers and sisters, what if someone is caught in a sin? Then you who live by the Spirit should correct that person. Do it in a gentle way. But be careful. You could be tempted too. Carry one another's heavy loads. If you do, you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks they are somebody when they are nobody, they are fooling themselves. Each person should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves. They won't be comparing themselves to someone else. Each person should carry their own load. But those who are taught the word should share all good things with their teacher. Don't be fooled. You can't outsmart God. A man gathers a crop from what he plants. Some people plant to please their desires controlled by sin. From these desires they will harvest death. Others plant to please the Holy Spirit. From the Spirit they will harvest eternal life. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time we will gather a crop if we don't give up. So when we can do good to everyone, let us do it. Let's try even harder to do good to the family of believers. Look at the big letters I'm using as I write to you with my own hand. Some people are worried about how things look on the outside. They are trying to force you to be circumcised. They do it for only one reason. They don't want to suffer by being connected with the cross of Christ. Even those who are circumcised don't obey the law. But they want you to be circumcised. Then they can brag about what has been done to your body. I never want to brag about anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through that cross the ways of the world have been crucified as far as I am concerned. And I have been crucified as far as the ways of the world are concerned. Circumcision and uncircumcision don't mean anything. What really counts is that the new creation has come. May peace and mercy be given to all who follow this rule. May peace and mercy be given to the Israel that belongs to God. From now on, let no one cause trouble for me. My body has marks that show I belong to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen.